Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here, how to find fundamental period for a signal x of t that is 1 plus 2 cos phi t plus 4 into cos of pi by 2 t plus pi by 4 plus 3 into sine of 2 pi by 3 t. So, for this x of t signal, how to find fundamental period? So, we have totally 4 signals are there. So, this is this signal and these are the periodic functions. So, for this signal frequency is 0, so no need to consider. Now for these three periodic functions, it have a frequency. So find it. So cos omega t or sin omega t, it gives frequency. So here cos omega t, nothing but omega equal to pi. So let consider it is omega 1. For this, the frequency is omega 1 equal to pi. Now for the signal, this is a phase and here omega t. So pi by 2 is the frequency for this function. So let's consider omega 2 that is equal to pi by 2. So similarly for this function frequency is omega 3 equal to 2 pi by 3. These are the angular frequencies. Okay. But here we want fundamental time period. So fundamental time period can be calculated by using time periods of the corresponding signals. But how can we get time period of these corresponding signals from the angular frequencies? So first of all recall the relation between frequency on angular frequency. So that is, so the angular frequency is always equal to 2 times 2 pi f times of frequencies. Okay, this is the standard relation between angular frequency and frequency. So from this we we'll get frequency f equal to omega by 2 pi. So from the frequency how can you find time period? So inverse of frequency is always gives time period. Now apply inverse for this on both sides will get 1 by f equal to 2 pi by omega. So 1 by f nothing but time period. So t equal to 2 pi omega. So here we have angular frequencies. So from this formula we can get time period of corresponding functions. So that is t1 equal to 2 pi by omega 1. So nothing but 2 pi by omega 1 is pi. So from this we get t1 equal to 2 seconds. So from here t2 equal to 2 pi by by omega 2. So t2 equal to 2 pi by by pi by 2. Pi by cancel to become subset to reserve 4. So t2 equal to 4. Now similarly t3 equal to 2 pi by omega 3. So that's equal to 2 pi by by 2 pi by 3 that is omega 3 value. So 3 upside 2 pi by cancel it becomes t3 equal to 3. Now we can easily find fundamental time period from the time periods that is nothing but fundamental time period that is t naught equal to lcm of time periods that is t1 comma t2 comma t3. So find the lcm for 2 comma 4 comma 3 from that we'll get the value is 12. Let's see here. So 2 comma 4 comma 3. So 2 1s, 2 2s, 3, 2 to the 4, 4 3 are 12. So 12 seconds. 12 seconds is the fundamental time period for the given x of the signal. This is the process of simplification for finding the fundamental time period. So whenever the signal given like this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.